Well, my idea was to, to write a piece based on the Big Bang Theory, inspired by the Big Bang Theory. And it would start with a, a loud explosion, which contains all the sounds that I'm going to use in my composition later. And the piece, very simple, it just devolves from very dense and very loud to very minimal and very sparse. <coughs> It's an old gas factory from the 1920s that is not being used anymore as such and it has an amazing size and it has amazing opportunities for music. It, you, you can suggest a really high amount of, of space and time and you can suggest really long distances just by listening to the sounds the way they, they, they die out. I look for specific atmospheres, but for this particular composition, I try to, within the kind of sounds that I collect, I try to collect as many diverse sounds as possible. Part of them is sounds that I record myself outside. Part of them is sounds that I, I collect from records that I, that I buy. And parts of the sounds were uh, synthesized, where uh, generated from synthesizers that I build or work with. I use a lot of different uh, MIDI controllers and game controllers to to generate sound and to manipulate sound because well I think it's important to have a piece that really is played by a live gesture and not just have a, a musician behind a computer with a mouse but you have to physically work and play the piece. So my setup is an, I see it as an instrument the, the software programming and the hardware interface, the game controllers and the MIDI controllers, are an instrument that I design and that, that I have to learn how to play with and compose with. The biggest surprise is just the, the spectacular nature of the, of the sound. And if you have really loud bass sounds, for instance, and you hear 
them fill the whole space. It's, it's the most fantastic thing I've ever s experienced in a piece of myself, because if you hear it at home through a effect processor, it's totally different than feeling this acoustic reverb.